great set of classes that he started today, actually. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us, first of all. Uh, yes, they start today, um, and there's cartooning classes yeah. uh, that start tonight, uh, teen illustration classes, and uh, I've been doing a lot of private classes also. And then tomorrow, uh, it's uh, drawing and painting for kids, and... Uh, Painting for adults. And what we like to do is we like to bring you on the show yeah. and prove that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. And so you're also, you're also going to be doing a portrait class as well. Uh, I did a portrait workshop okay. recently. And, and so actually, the, my, uh, some of the students that I have in the painting class, um, they're focusing on portraits. Okay, so today you're actually going to be doing a portrait of Matt Demers. And so yeah. we're going to be yeah. testing Christian's artistic skills and uh, verbal skills because he's yeah. going to be talking and drawing at the same time. It's like time. a ventriloquo style. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. But uh, so you started the classes today. You have yeah. classes tomorrow. You have a free art class happening on September 28th, this Saturday. Uh, yeah, that's part of uh, Culture Days. Right, and so people can go on to culturedays.ca uh, slash artists, um, and they can go and basically check out the different schedules, different programs that are there. But Christian, of course, has been on the show before, does a great job. Uh, when you're doing something like a portrait, um, what is the first thing that you really do? Um, well, I laid out the shape of the head. Um, there's things that you're not seeing right now, which are uh, the, the fact that uh, there's a grid that I'm always thinking of, okay. and, and I'm trying to line up the, the features, so when I put okay. like the eyes, uh, there, it has to be uh, uh, symmetrical, okay. and uh, there's supposed to be an uh, even distance between the eyes, uh, and that distance is typically one eye width. Okay. Now this portrait may look a little bit skewed because of my angle, who knows? Okay. Uh, but, I'm, um, I'm using excuses already. <laughs> and, you do, and you do the hair last? Um, is that usually what happens? Why are you concerned well, about how your hair is going to turn out? Is it? Um, yeah, I had the, the hair last, and hair is something that I always uh, talk to students about because hair is always above uh, what you typically draw uh, okay. as the shape of the head. Okay. Because hair is, is an extension. I treat it like, like a hat, right. um, or yeah, like a hat. Like it's, a, it's like something. Like an accessory. Yes, right. it's extra. So that's extra. The, the final touch. So you've already mapped out the shape of his face, and I guess mm. what you're saying is the eyes are usually about. Uh, halfway down the face yeah. at yeah. the half point, and then the eyes are spaced out an eye width apart. So yes, correct. I guess that's a good rule of thumb for anyone who is actually drawing a portrait. Yeah. Uh, what about the nose and the mouth? Like, where do you map those out? Where do they? Um, at? Yeah, the uh, the nose is somewhere between the uh, the eye line and the the chin, mm -hmm. uh, but it's on the upper uh, side of that, and then the mouth is again like closer to the nose. Uh, between the, the nose and the chin, so obviously. So again, like another halfway point, and then yeah. between the nose yeah. and the chin, another yeah. halfway point. In cartooning, I have a fun little exercise uh, that um, that I do with kids where I teach them about these principles, where the, the features go, and then I give them really uh, wild shapes, uh, and then they get to play around with those features, okay. you know, without like you know, switching them around, but just like, you know, they can put like the eyes like right on top of the head, okay. and they can be really, really inventive. So a, a lot of chance for creativity as well. And we also have to um, re basically congratulate you. You have a personal art show that's going to be happening yep. soon at the Atomic Rooster. Tell us about that. Yeah, the Atomic Rooster is on Bank Street. It's, uh, it's a great uh, um, restaurant bar. And uh, I've done live painting there. Uh, I was part of uh, their yearly show there. Um, the Rooster Show. They have a different name for it, but I don't know if I can say that on TV. <laughs> and, uh, and I have a piece there now, which is quite exceptional, I might add. And, uh, and then they invited me to, to show on, on, on a wall. I haven't done a solo show in a couple of years because it, it takes a lot of energy. And, uh, and I'm, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I may have some new pieces. I'm not sure what I'll have time for. I, I'm actually planning probably a collection of uh, uh, w works in, from my oeuvre, things that are like left over. Um, but excellent, and uh, so that's I think that's what I'm planning for that show right now. Cool. So should be exciting. So these are basically twelve rarely seen pieces that people haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, October thirteenth is when the show is happening, and you've also made a special art book, uh, handmade. Yeah. You've crafted the covers. Yeah. Each cover has an original piece of art. We and we have to congratulate you for this as well yeah. because it's been accepted into the archives of the National Art Gallery of Canada yeah. and MoMA in yeah. New York. Very cool. Yeah. So, well, congratulations on that. So people can Thank go you. to those different places and ask for those Yeah, places. you have to ask for them. They're not currently on display. 
and they'll get the white glove service. They'll be in a, yeah. in a case. And yeah. Then, you know that you have to ring a bell in order to get into the room where you can check it out. Yeah. Is that what it's like? Uh, <laughs> yes, it's exactly <laughs> like that. In fact, uh, you'll likely be in a bee suit. Okay. Um, a hazmat suit. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a very exceptional book. I actually made it a, a few years ago, right at the beginning of my professional career. And I handmade 100 of these books. And those two copies that they have uh, have original paintings by myself uh, on the cover. And uh, they're, they're a work of art in themselves. And it was a vision that I had many years ago. We're there it is. That's and, right. Uh, right now, it, it, I mean, the, the amount of uh, work and stress that went into like uh, putting that book together was uh, all worth it now. So. Well, um, we have 30 seconds left. We'll see what you can achieve in okay. 30 seconds. How's it coming along? Okay, Matt, you haven't oh, well, seen I just have you had a portrait before? I had one in New York. Um, it turned out okay. Okay. Yeah. What are your expectations with Christian, <laughs> given that he's got oh. all these shows going on, this book that came out? Yeah, hopefully you got my goods. <laughs> all right. Okay, so well, I... we're down to the last second, and I think we are out of time. Christian, time for the big reveal. Let's see. Go. It, it's a fast sketch. Okay. Yes. 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 There we go. Well, Christian, thank you so much. People can get in touch with you at masterpieceartschool.ca uh, for class schedules and to make reservations and registration. Uh, and again, there are those free classes happening this Saturday for Culture Days. Thanks again. Coming up next, we're talking about more art. We're talking about the Empire and Beyond.